before I came here, my expectations were that I would leave knowing how to inspire others to start a business or go to college or finish high school. My expectations were that I would leave knowing how to run my spa services business a little better because it's new and I'm, I have no idea what I'm doing sometimes. My expectations were to see more people in this workshop and I wish it was longer. <laughs> Mine were, I thought it would be more about the can Canadian Inuit youth economy. I thought it was going to be all about money and not so much about um, youth solutions and stuff that we were talking about. To learn more about business, uh, I knew that we were going to discuss socioeconomics. So, coming from the Inuvialuit region, um, that's something as a beneficiary you you need to know more about. Mm -hmm. Pretty much expecting to learn and to pick up more of you know what what everybody in the forum had to offer. Mm -hmm. Before I came here, I expected to collaborate with other youth from all across Canada to hear their stories, to hear their challenges, to get an idea of what their dreams are. Do you want it? And that's what I did. You know, I was kind of not expecting anything and coming here to see what's going to happen. And when I got here, I noticed it was, it was wonderful. There was a bunch of, you know, the youth were so... Everybody else was so open, everyone else was so youthful, obviously. And I felt accepted here. In the beginning, it was kind of odd for me, because it's, you know, I don't usually, I don't usually accept things like this. I usually go on my own thing. But I came here, and it was a good experience for me, because I learned things that I never thought I'd really cover. My goals were to to be a sponge and to learn as much as I can about entrepreneurship, to help go back to my community and help others in Cambridge Bay that are interested or don't even know that they're interested, but they get inspired to say, hey, I can be my own boss. I can, I can do anything I want to do because it all starts with one little thought. And from that one little thought becomes actions. And it started with somebody saying to me when I came back from college in Edmonton, you should start your own business. You'd be so busy and, and it's something that Cambridge Bay would love. And from that, I was like, hey, I can. And so I did and it took a long time, but now I have my own business cards and I have spa website and I have more clientele than ever. So it was, it was pretty, it's pretty awesome. Um, my goal was just kind of to voice Nunat Seawut youth opinion and to try to learn more about the Canadian youth economy because on the poster that's what it was, what it said it was about. So I just wanted to kind of learn more stuff so I can bring back some information to the youth in Nain and to voice my opinions about what I think the youth in Nain would want to be heard. Um, my goals were pretty much the same and it was more to think about all the issues or job opportunities and what kind of challenges we go through in our community and gather information of what others are saying and try to get all the information to think how I can make the changes in my community. Uh, I want to become a filmmaker from the Inuvialuit region, um, so that entitles me to um, to try to, because there aren't enough opportunities in media as far as I've experienced. So one of my biggest goals was to create my own opportunities, uh, go to school for this, for film and video production and um, somewhere down the line, uh, start a business. Well, I know how it is in my region. I know how it is for youth and just families in general in my community. But I wanted to know if it was like just my community or if it was just across the north. And I found out that like hearing a lot of people's stories, like 
one girl, her, she's from Cambridge Bay, and she shared her story like she, she really opened up and I identified with every bit of it and I was really surprised. I was so surprised because it's just like, wow, you're from such a different place and we have the same struggles and we mm -hmm. have like, we want to work towards the same thing. So it was very empowering. No, I have so many goals that are focused on youth and youth who actually need help and youth who could actually use extra push for their confidence. And My dad owned a business, so like, I want to see how it works. How it is in the business world, because I don't know. I might I might want to open a business when I'm older, because I like to hunt, and there's a lot of sport hunting involved. You could get paid lots, and I don't know what you need. I learned that there's other youth out there who's passionate about helping their territories, their regions, their communities, their fellow youth, their the people that they've known all of their life. I learned so much about other community issues or job opportunities and what people go through. And when you're in a community you only think about the people and what the community goes through and when you meet other people and hear what they have to say it's, it becomes a bigger issue. I learned that it's not only youth in Nunat Seawood that have the the social issues that we do, it's the Inuit youth from all, all the regions and I think that if I didn't come here I probably wouldn't have realized it had that big of an impact. And some of the funding places that we we heard about and just some resources that I didn't really know that was there even in my own community so I learned a lot about that. I feel it was very important that I was here and uh, I got to uh, see other people's perspectives and now I have, um, I did a little bit of networking while I was here in Iqaluit and now I have contacts and you know people that can you know possibly mentor me and help me to get where I want to go in terms of um, the career path that I'm choosing. We, there needs to be more constructive discussions about that. I know this is the first one that Bakduti has done, but they need to have more um, constructive discussions about business, entrepre entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. is that the word? Yeah. And I know this is the first one, but they need to have more. And no matter where you are, I think you should take care of yourself and take care of, take care of your, I guess, I don't mean to say it like that, but your mental health. Everybody needs that extra push for confidence to brighten up life because life could get so dark. And if you work on getting a positive vibe going, it'll kind of fade away all of that. I guess I could say extra noise, all the negative tension, all of the bad feelings that we get and all the anxieties, all of those ifs and buts. What if, what if, but I can't do this, but da, da, da. all those extra words, just fade them away, forget about them for now, and try to do at least the first day of an activity. And after you do that first day, you'll see that it's okay, and you can do more, and you'll broaden, you'll learn so many other things, and it'll help you personally with your confidence. It'll help you get up the next morning and want to get out and do things with your life. My goal is now after this to go back to Nunavut. And I never thought I'd say it. <laughs> I was always one of those people who said, I'm gonna get out of my community and I'm gonna go live somewhere else. And now I wanna go home after nursing school. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna build a house there. And I never said that before. I thought, you know, you go through so much in life being from a small community, you just want to get out, you see the world a little, you travel to other countries and you say, wow, I don't have to live in Cambridge Bay. And so the biggest goal for me now that I'm really passionate about is to go home and and help others. Um, my goal now is to go back to my community and try to help the youth out there from what we learned here. <laughs> Um, I'm, a, I'm the youth outreach worker there, so I learned a lot of things that people suggested that they probably want to have, like helping with resumes or confidence building or leadership skills, so I, I'll probably go back. My goal is to now to go back and to give, that, give those resources to the youth in the yeah. end. 
my goals uh they're still the same they haven't changed right from when i was a kid 12 years old and like you know i want to become a filmmaker i want to get into directing and uh you know the same thing that you do um i was 12 when i chose that i went through school not quite knowing how to go about doing that and uh recently um i purchased my own equipment uh i filmed a documentary um, in my hometown and uh, another thing with that is I want to keep you know whatever work I do I want to try to keep a northern aspect to it because that's showing like who I am where I come from and I want to give back to my region well one of the things that we talked about throughout the entire forum was human connection just that we talked a lot about um, setting up programs like hypothetically like how would we do it and how would we want it to be done and we talked a lot about in communities there needs to be a place that people can go to or you know like a representative that youth can go to and say look this is what I want to do I want to go to the school or I want to I want to start this business how can I do that and having like a mentor or a counselor like somebody who's one on one just to be there yeah. just someone to talk to to have that human connection so that you don't feel alone uh, help up my town as much as I can and um try to prevent everyone from suicide and stuff. No, I have so many goals that are focused on youth and youth who actually need help and youth who could actually use that extra push for their confidence. And the last few months I've felt like I've grown so much inside and I don't know what it is, but I have purpose every morning that I wake up. And that's what we should have is, even though it's just high school, even though it's just another job at the office, you wake up and you make your day, you make your life. And somebody said to me the last few days, all God or whatever you believe in, all, all we're given is a maximum of a hundred years. If that, we need to leave a mark. We need to leave a legacy and whether that being starting your own business, whether that being going out and getting um, a college degree, whatever it is, you just need to you need to take life seriously because when we're gone, we're gone. There's no more words. There's no more time with the people we love. And so, what I want to say to you is to love life as much as you can, even on the bad days, even on those days, everything happens for a reason. I like to believe, because down the road, whether it makes you stronger, whether it teaches you a lesson, everything makes a difference. And when you make those good choices, you know, to not get into alcohol, get into other substance abuse, and just get out there and help people, help your family in the house, help the kids at the school. Just make something, a good choice every day, and live by that. Live by who you want to say you are in 20 years down the road. I just want to thank the Pop Duty for having this workshop for us because it was an amazing experience and it's nice to meet new people. I would say uh, never give up on what your dreams are. Like you never know what life's gonna throw at you. It could be like the, mo the best thing that could ever happen to you. Even to those who don't have an education, for those who quit school, I think it's still important to do these sort of activities to help you see and learn the things and understand things that you never usually get and especially living in a small town like me it's hard to really get as much as there is in Akalu, you know, living in Baker Lake it, there's not even half as much of opportunity as there is in Akalu. so I think no matter where you are I think you should take care of yourself and t you know the best way you can sometimes it may not be easy as you know it wasn't easy for myself and it still isn't easy today but, you know, if you really want it, if it's really in you, you can create your own opportunities. You can be whatever you want to be, whether you got your grade 8 only, your grade 10, whether you're not smart enough, whether you can't read or write. There's people out there that can help you. It'll help you start a journey so you're not just there. You actually start a journey and start going everywhere from that one, from that one little place. It's like you spark spark it and then you burns it burns like a fire sometimes it explodes and you could really get out there and you could really achieve the things that you want to achieve 
it's not only youth in Nunat Sayawut that have the the social issues that we do, it's the Inuit youth from all, all the regions. And I think that if I didn't come here, I probably wouldn't have realized it had that big of an impact. I thought that this forum was um, really great. Like I heard from a lot of youth that, you know, this is the first time they got to experience something like this, just where they could be heard, just where they could share, you know, whatever they thought. And my, like walking away from this experience, so many of us are like, we want more. We want to have more experiences like this. We want to have more chances to talk to other people and, you know, like work up ideas for our community and work together. Sweet. Do you want to do it alone or should I ask the Just seeing more people. Yeah, and we use the economy. I thought it was going to be. My full name is Kelly Kerr, like full, like yeah. middle names? No, no, just oh. referring to.